So what's up guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Like yesterday, I didn't even know your name. Now today, you're always on my mind. I never could have predicted that I'd feel this way. So guys, in today's video, I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about water fasting. I literally get this question every single day about, you know, how do you survive a water fast? So I was like, you know what? Let me think about it. Let me take, you know, my experiences and see what I can come up with. Now, you guys know I'm not a professional, a nutritionist, a personal trainer, anything like that. So before you want to do a water fast, seriously consult your physician. Yes, I did talk to my doctor before I did my first ever even juice cleanse because I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to be okay. And she gave me the thumbs up and told me to do it and stuff like that. So yes, I have consulted my physician before I did did this um i have done four water fasts and they have ranged from three days to five days um i haven't did any more than five days neither do i ever think i will like five days for me is extreme and the only time i would ever go five days is if i had like a cheat two or three weeks like when i was out for the wedding i was out for two and a half weeks off my diet so i did a five day water fast to detox um so yeah so pretty much just make sure that you are talking to a doctor before you go and do this water fasting itself is healthy i know, I know so all of our life we have heard no girl you need to eat if you don't eat you're gonna starve yourself but i promise you your body will be just fine without eating for a couple of days especially if you're drinking water and you're letting your body rest because our digestive systems if you think about it they go 24 7 if you're eating 24 7 your body is always breaking down something so when you go on the water fast you're just giving your system time to just break Break down what's already in you and then kick out the bad stuff which is your bile and then you'll be able to start your healthy lifestyle I always tell people when they hit me up the first thing I do I want to tell them is you do not water fast to lose weight but you will lose weight while you're water fasting always remember that that's not the reason you want to do it if you go into a water fast thinking oh I just want to drop some quick weight you are gonna fail sis and I'm gonna tell you how in a minute but you need to go into your water fast thinking you are detoxifying your body and preparing yourself to start on your healthy journey every time i start a water fast i always start with that in mind knowing that once this water fast is finished i do not go back to the foods the bad foods i don't go back to the fried chicken and the french fries and stuff like that once i finish my water fast my system has cleaned itself out and reset so now i need to give it all really good food and that's how you're able to keep the weight off that you lose from the water fast. Now I did write down five tips that I wanted to share with you guys because y'all know Crystal is a chatty Cathy and I will be talking and talking and talking. So I did want to just keep this video short, sweet, and simple just to let you know about what I've learned about water fasting. And again guys, I'm not a professional. If you've done water fast before, you probably did something totally different from me. The, there are no rules to this other than making sure that you talk to your doctor first so you won't fall out dead somewhere because don't Put that on me <laughs> but what i mean is there's no rules to however you want to fast i know a lot of people hit me up and say oh well i take medication or you know i just can't go without eating because of the kind of job that i do or something like that and that's totally okay water fasting just may not be the thing for you but maybe you can do a fruit fast or maybe you can do just a veggie fast or maybe you can do a smoothie fast there is different types i feel like water fasting is just the most effective for me but for those of you who have consulted your physician and you down and you ready to start a water fast here are five tips that i use to survive a water fast so the first thing you have to do is one you have to prepare yourself as in your body meaning you cannot go from eating a triple cheeseburger on sunday to water fasting on monday you will shock your system and then stuff will happen i don't know what will happen but i just don't feel like you need to go straight from eating heavy to eat nothing at all you have to wing yourself down so whenever i know that i'm going to do a water fast i make sure i plan it out so I have enough time to finish out my cheat time of whatever I gave myself to be off my diet. 
and then I give myself a couple days just to eat lightly. So on those days, you start eating salads and soups and, you know, deli meats and stuff like that. You don't ever want to go straight from eating solid fried chicken, waffles, pancakes, and all that stuff to not eating. You don't want to do that. You want to actually break your system down or whatever. So that's what I do. I normally start to eat, you know, like I said, soups and salads and soft foods, jellos and stuff like that. And then what I did this last time is I really, really liked it and it really helped me out with my hunger especially um is i started my water fast with a watermelon only diet because you know watermelon is 90 percent water anyway um so yeah i started with watermelon first and then i just did watermelon that whole day and then the next day i went straight into my water fast because you know i had weighed myself down from it. i had gave myself a watery fruit and then that helped me to go straight into just water only so this last time was amazing every time i did my water fast i've got both results from the actual detoxifying part that I'm looking for and from the weight loss part you know what I'm saying so you have to prepare your body by doing that so again you do not want to go straight from eating you know heavy heavy foods to not eating at all at all you do want to wing yourself down and that is preparing your body and then you want to prepare your mind also you want to let yourself know that you know for the next couple days you won't be eating food and it's okay um that's why I tell people don't do the water fast for weight loss because if you do the water fast for weight loss one you're going to either give up in the middle of and you're going to eat something or two you're not going to even start because you're going to be too thinking about like oh my god well what if i don't lose the weight i want and i didn't eat and i didn't even eat anything blah, blah, blah. like you will talk yourself out of it so when you're doing the water fast for detoxifying you have given yourself you know a purpose and a reason to do the water fast and you letting yourself know like the reason that i'm fasting is because one i want to give my digestive system a break like you got to know that our digestive system is constantly moving especially if you're eating all times of the day and all times of the night then your body is constantly trying to break down stuff and it doesn't have time to break down the stuff and get rid of the bad stuff which is the bio you know and all that stuff it doesn't have time to do that because you're constantly giving it something to eat so whenever you do a water fast you're just giving yourself a little break so your system can kind of reset itself so when you're on a detox you're gonna find yourself using the restroom like doing number two and you're gonna be like I'm not even eating it. why am I pooping where you're pooping because you're actually your system is actually able to pump that stuff that is in you out and that is the reason why you end up losing weight because for one you're not giving yourself any calories so I don't care what fast you doing if you're giving yourself little to no calories you're gonna lose weight regardless that's why i told you don't go into the water fast wanting to lose weight you need to go into the water fast for the detoxifying part of it um so yes you just want to make sure um that you are preparing yourself both physically by you know bringing down your food before you go onto the water fast and then also mentally just by knowing that you're just giving yourself time and a break. And then once you finish this water fast, you're going to hop into your healthy lifestyle. The second thing I want to tell you is you have to commit to your water fast. You have to speak it out. You have to say, you know what? I'm going to do a water fast and I'm going to go two days. You know what I'm saying? Don't come out the gate thinking you're going to do a five-day water fast. Now, I know this sounds crazy because my first ever water fast, I did five days. <laughs> but that was because... I'm, I'm just crazy y'all like I challenge myself like I don't even have time to worry about what other people around me doing because I always challenge myself and I just challenged myself for that to do the five day and like I said once I talked to my doctor and she was like I'll be okay I was all for it you know um but you when you want when you do a water fast start with one or two days just to see how your body's going to react to it and you know just see how you feel especially if you have a job and you are out and about especially if you have a physically demanding job like you want to make sure that all those things around you won't stop you from doing what you want to do and then once you figure out that everything will be okay you got to commit to it you got to say you know what I'm going to water fast for two days so if you're sitting there and you you know you see the food you can't give in because remembering when you're doing this water fast you're doing it for detoxifying purposes so if you are allowing yourself to give in that is what's going to happen on your journey so this is kind of like your your game room this is your getting ready room this is okay if i can make it through this then when i start actually eating and i'm eating healthy and i have a salad and my friend got french fries then you know i went a whole two days without eating so i don't have to eat those fries i'm telling you guys like the water fasting is technically for your mind like it's not even about 
the weight loss. I can't say that enough in this video because the weight loss will come. It's going to come regardless if you're on a water fast. It's going to come, but you just want to make sure that you are doing this just to condition your mind and get you ready for your healthy lifestyle. So you just want to make sure that whenever you say you're going to do a water fast, you commit to it, you stick to it. Because once you make it through that water fast, then your health journey will be easy. Because again, if you can go a whole five days, three days, two days without eating, then whenever you eating your healthy food, then you can actually say, nah, sis, I don't even want that cheeseburger. Man, I went some days without eating. I, ain't eat. I didn't even eat nothing then and now i can actually eat just gotta eat healthy food I'm telling you it makes it that much easier and that is the reason why i haven't fell off like that is the reason why and i like i said i like the water fasting because i feel the detox happening like my skin starts to glow and i just start to start to feel energy and you would think like how do you have energy and you not eat i do not know but y'all can ask baby i'll be running around here like i had full course meals i'm talking about energetic i go to work all day I drive an hour to work, an hour home. I come home, me and baby play. We talk, I run around this living room. Like, I always have energy. Like, this last fast, I told y'all I was going through it. I was a little tired. I'm like, what's going on? And come to figure out, it was just Mother Nature. And I'm always tired with her. It's like, I'm a PMS. Because I'm telling you, every other water fast I did, it's been pretty cool. So, yeah, you just want to make sure that you commit yourself. And if you feel like that you can't do it, then, like I said, just throw a smile. Say, you know what? I'm just going to water fast for one day this week and then you do good on your diet then the next day you may do two days like don't just try to go five days and because once you do that then you're gonna mess yourself up the third thing i want to tell you is that you have to get plenty of rest on the water fast and i know you're thinking like chris how you getting rest and you going to work and all that stuff well your body normally will do that like you will have enough energy to do all that stuff but what you won't have enough energy to do is to work out is to try to do all this extra stuff you have to get you some rest that's why when i'm on the water fast and i get out for work i come home i take me a bath i get in the bed and i relax i'm giving my body time to just relax because again you're not only fasting for just to lose weight that's gonna happen you're actually fasting just to get your body ready for your weight loss journey like you do it before you detoxify yourself and whenever you're on a water fast like i said you're gonna feel yourself detoxing you're gonna use the restroom and you're just gonna see like your skin start to glow like you're gonna see it and you're gonna feel energetic but your energy will go fast if you're not getting rest so you just want to make sure that you're getting full night's sleep anytime that you can you know when you come home like if you come home from work and you just want to chill out, chill out. Don't come home from work trying to do no working out and going walking and all that stuff because you're on a fast. You need to give yourself that time just to chill a little bit. Like you'll have plenty of time to work out when you start like eating and getting the calories and stuff in you. So on your fast time, just chill out. Make sure that you're getting some rest. Make sure that you're sleeping good. Now I, I do know that I've watched a couple people water fast videos and they say they don't sleep good. I don't know why because I sleep the best on my water fast. I don't know if it's just because like my body is like, you know, cleaning itself. And so it's just feeling good and it gets, it's getting rid of the toxins and stuff. But I sleep really, really good on my water fast. And like I um, said, when I come home from work, then I, I plan not to do anything. Now, sometimes me and baby will go. Like I remember one time we went to the movies. Um, we went grocery shopping and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we just take our time and we just go and I just chill out. You know, I don't try to do too much. I don't try to go crazy because remember you are on a water fast so you don't want to do anything crazy and get lightheaded and mess everything up that's not what you want to do you actually just want to give your body time to just do what it got to do so you want to make sure that you are getting plenty of rest another thing you want to do is just be honest about your water fast like it, i've learned that if you just tell people that hey this is something that i want to do you know they will kind of be respectful for you because a lot of people always say oh i don't want to eat around you now you do have some of those people that be like oh girl i just gotta eat i don't know how you doing like you're gonna have that people talking to you like that but that's why i told you in the first part you gotta prepare yourself prepare your mind prepare the people around you just let everybody know that this is something that you're choosing to do it is your body and you're okay with it you know and just be honest honest about it you know if you like me i'm comfortable enough that people can eat around me when i'm on a water fast because my mind is locked and loaded we got goals to meet and that's where it's going but i understand not everybody is like me so that's why i told you just be honest with people and say hey i would rather you not eat around me or you can just tell them hey i'm gonna not eat in the break room with you today i'm not being funny it's just that i'm on a water fast and i'll be tempted if i eat you know just be honest with people because a lot of people try to hide the fact that they're on a water fast um and i understand why you 
them hide it though because you you don't want people saying anything about it because like I said the first thing people do is say oh my god that's not healthy da, da, da. and it's just like come on do your research you know what I'm saying I'm pretty sure we all just ain't trying to hurt ourselves you know so yeah I understand the part of not wanting to tell people you're on a water face but you just got to be honest when you're doing it like when I'm at work I tell people I don't walk around the office and scream I'm on a water face I'm on a water face but whenever I know somebody like normally gonna um offer to buy me lunch or I know if they're buying lunch you know for the company that day I always let them know hey I'm water fasting so I won't be partaking in lunch you know so you don't have to bring me lunch or you don't have to call me for lunch or whatever like that you know just be honest with people and let them know and like I told you when you tell somebody you're water fasting you're gonna get looks you're gonna get people telling you you're starving yourself you're gonna get people telling you it's not healthy and all of that and that's everybody's opinion so let them have their opinions but you just be honest and just let them know this is something that you're choosing to do and you just want them to respect it and the last thing that I found that helps me a lot on my water fast is just staying busy now I know you're thinking like Crystal you just told us to get rest how you gonna stay busy I mean stay busy mentally meaning read some books listen to some podcasts get you a playlist and just reminisce and you will see time go by watch other people's weight loss journeys like get motivation you know look at positive stuff because again doing this fast you're gonna find yourself really like tuning into yourself because food is the medicine to a lot of us like believe it or not i don't care what kind, what race you are what sex you are all of us like food and if you don't like food you like something all of us indulge in something but i will say the majority is food so whenever you're sad happy angry you know going through all your feels your feelings your emotions and stuff like that everybody go to food think about it we go to food to celebrate we go to food to mourn we go to food because we happy we go to food because we sad like all of us do so during this time that you can't have food you're going to bring up a lot of emotions you didn't know you had i'm telling y'all when i first went on my first water fast i was just like Oh my God, I, I'm mad at everybody around me because y'all can eat and I can't. Like that was my mindset until I realized like, Crystal, you are choosing to do this. You are choosing to detox your body, to start a healthier lifestyle so that you won't be overweight, so that you won't be unhappy with yourself. And once I realized like, it's okay. I don't have to eat fried chicken. I can eat baked chicken. I can try vegetables. I can eat vegetables. I can, you know, I can drink water. I can do all this stuff. Once I realized that, I learned all that through my water fast. So whenever day one came where I had to intermediate fast and meal prep, I was ready for it. Because I said, Crystal, you know what? Eating this veggie broccoli and, I mean, <laughs> veggie broccoli. Eating this veggie pasta and ground turkey beast not eating anything you know what i'm saying so i'm like you made it through a whole water fast where you couldn't eat nothing so you can eat this and you can enjoy it and that's the reason why you know i'm i'm able to do that but pretty much you have to stay busy on this and i don't mean physically busy i just mean get your mind right you know like i said just take yourself into a positive place and i understand because i'm one of them we got full-time jobs i know y'all think like okay crystal we can't do all this stuff like we go to work i go to work too and i do water fast at work because i find it easier to water fast at work <laughs> um only because the day go by fast i feel like because i intermediate fast anyway from uh 10 to 6 like i only eat from 10 to 6 i feel like if i can make it from 10 a.m to 6 p.m without eating then i'm good the rest of the 16 hours because i already intermediate your fast you know what i'm saying so that's how i think about it like my i told y'all my mind is pretty crazy but hey it works so yeah that's how i think about it. i'm like if i can just make it through my eating window when i would normally eat and i'm good that's when i drink my gallon of water that's when i get it done you know what i'm saying i'm able to do it so yeah you just got to keep your mind busy keep yourself positive because if you are around negativity and you're on the fast and you're not able to eat you're gonna crash and i don't want you to crash you know over that so that's why you have to just surround yourself with positivity and like i said some people like to read some people like music some people like podcasts me i like to watch other people's weight loss journey i like to see where people started and where they ended up and what they did like i take that time on my fast just to educate myself and research and just know that i'm not the only one out here doing this and then that is what gives me the motivation to continue so i just use that time and i stay busy and i just you know uh, surround myself with positivity so yes guys those are just the things that i do to get me through my water fasting time i know i had a couple of questions that i wanted to answer so i'll answer those now and that is how much water do you drink on a water fast and that's up to you um i do drink a gallon of water but i'm not gonna lie this last time i was 
full. Like I had a full filling the whole time and I could not force myself to drink that gallon. And I did not force myself to drink that gallon. I did force myself to drink at least 64 ounces because that's the recommended daily amount of water. So I did force myself to do 64 ounces, but I didn't force myself to do the whole gallon because I was full. But the other three water fasts that I did, I did a gallon every day, some days more than a gallon. Cause my first day I'm normally hungry because I'm used to eating the day before. Um, and then by my second day, I'm not necessarily hungry. It's just that feeling of like, are we going to eat or are we not going to eat? And then by the third day, I don't even be thinking about food. I just know that, hey, I got two more days to my water fast and then I start my countdown from there. So I don't even give myself a time to start like tripping about not eating. It's like I'm always constantly thinking or doing something positive or something like that. So yeah, you just want to make sure that you drink in a recommended daily amount, but you can do a gallon if you want. You know, don't drink too much water like you and I'm telling you, once you get to day two, if you're doing a longer water fast, you are going to feel full. Like you think you would think that you would be hungry, but it's like your body just realizes that like, hold on, something going on and your digestive system starts to detox and then you find yourself using the restroom and stuff like that and you find and then you'll feel your energy and stuff come like that. Um, also on a water fast, I know a lot of people ask me, do you take vitamins? I don't and the reason I say because most vitamins say take daily with food and if you're not eating, you don't want to put anything on your stomach that can cause you to be nauseated, sick or throwing up, like you don't want to harm yourself. Your body will be okay without those vitamins. Now for those of you guys that take medication again i'm not a professional you have to talk to your doctor about that so i'm not even gonna speak on that i would say if you're on medication you need to take your medication and let that water fast go instead of doing a water fast like i said do a fruit fast or do a no meat fast or something i don't know but i just feel like if you're on medication you need to take your medication but you know consult your doctor on that part um, and another question that I got was, oh, um, can you put fruit in your water? Now, if you're doing a strict water fast like I do, then I say no because fruit has calories. The whole point of a water fast is to give yourself no calories so that way your digestive system can detox what it has in it because if you're constantly giving yourself calories your digestive system is constantly trying to break those calories down so you're not giving it at that time to actually detoxify itself um so that's what i don't but again that's just me if you choose to put lemon in your water grapes strawberry watermelon whatever and you like it ain't gonna bother you it really not gonna bother you sis because i'm telling you when you go from eating 2,000 calories a day to eating even 200 with fruit that you might eat, um, you're gonna lose the weight. And again, you're not doing the water fast for losing the weight anyway, because you're going to lose weight. You're doing it for the detoxification of your body and to get your mind ready for your fitness journey. So yes, guys, like I said, I'm not a professional in the whole water fasting or anything nutrition wise, but since I have done it so many times and I, you know, I share my results and stuff, people always ask me. So hopefully this video was helpful. Again, if you have any other questions, you can leave them below. If I can answer it, I will. If not, we can Google it. That's the only thing I can say. This is just the stuff that I've used to help me that I saw fit. Um, and one more thing I do want to tell you guys too, is whenever you come off your water fast, the way you went on is the way that you need to come out. So when you go on your water fast by cutting yourself, you know, with the fruit and the soups and the salads is the way you need to come off. Because if you come straight off your water fast and go straight to eating, especially going straight to eating bad food, TMI, but you're going to have diarrhea. <laughs> and also, you're going to gain all that weight back you lost. Because again, you're going to lose weight. But if you want to maintain that weight loss and continue that weight loss on your healthy journey, you need to make sure that when you come off your water fast, you're coming off the same way you went on. So whenever I come off my water fast, I come off with watermelon. I do watermelon for a full day. And then I bring myself into soups and then from soups into there and then back into solid food. So the way you go on is the way you go off. And that's the way that you maintain the weight loss that you had from the water fast. So yes, I know this video was probably all over the place. I just want to make sure that I was hitting everything for you guys because like I said, I get that question daily. Again, do your research if this is something that you want to do. Will I water fast again? Yes, I will. Um, I'm going to have to water fast <laughs> a little bit after the first of the year because I'll be going off my diet here soon because of the holidays because that's one thing about Crystal. I enjoy my holidays and I take myself off. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy. Like I'm not going to just be eating a bunch of fried food and stuff. I'm still going to intermediate fast. 
gas, I'm still gonna do my apple cider vinegar and I'm still gonna drink my gallon of water. But if I choose that I want a turkey burger one day or if I choose I want Chipotle one day, then I'm gonna allow myself to eat it. But I'm just gonna do it in moderation and do what I'm supposed to do because I'm gonna be off my diet for a little while. So whenever I come back off my diet, this time I won't have to necessarily do a whole five day water fast. I probably only have to do two days and that's just me because I feel like if I'm going from eating bad foods, I can't go straight into my health journey. Like I need to detox my body. But again, that's just me. I know everybody doesn't think like me. So yes guys, that's everything that I have to say about water fasting. Hopefully I helped if you want to go on a water fast. But again, hit them doctors up because Krista didn't tell you to do it. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And now is the time that if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell on to be notified when we post Vlogmas Day 13. Dang already? Yup. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow.